What is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with Phantom Max's review here. As you guys can see now, he's joining Marvel Strike Force here as a news character. And um, you know, I love his, uh, his skin, his outfit. Just a man shrouded in mystery that we're going to learn a lot more part of this unlimited X-Men team. So as you can see, uh, his main strength is really going to be bringing on piercing damage as well as dodge chance, uh, mowing down enemies and taunting to draw enemy fire. And as well, one of his key highlights is actually healing each turn with a 100% chance to actually counterattack on defense up. So um, one of his key synergies is on death that he's actually going to be applying offense up defense up to all of his fellow allies and as well as calling for additional attacks and with every character that comes in you guys um we do and need to take advantage of the 15 percent increase here in the red star orbs and as well uh, it's very exciting um he's actually gonna be joining the as a free-to-play event so these are some of the best events to, to actually enroll in just because they give a lot of character shards and you bet i'll be making a video on just a quick overview of how to get that but um just to start you guys a uh, heads up uh, he's coming in actually uh next week so keep that in mind get those power cores ready to go because that's generally one of the best ways to actually earn his character shard so we'll also be taking a look at his kit today as well as preemptively uh the t4 recommendations for his kit overall but before you even dive in you guys just make sure that you see phantom X's is an icon there as you can see in the red stars i always like to double check by hitting i for additional details as well the red star promotion go all the way down to the two red star promotion and just ensure that the 15 percent increase here is actually in effect so that tells us that you know we have that increased chance and in drop right here uh, that, that said, you guys, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get the start party started. You can see here, I've been saving quite a bit of Red Star Orbs just because there's a boatload of characters coming out this year. And uh, we always like to budget 5 to 10 and really aiming for that 2 or 3 red. Uh, I find those are really good value. Anything better, obviously, is always nice. But um, end of the day, uh, you know, I'm not sure, to be honest, if I'm going to fully invest in the X-Men. But, uh, you know, with the Rogue coming into the mix here, as well as being the legendary Horseman number 2 following Morgan Le Fay, it's definitely going to be interesting to see that synergy for sure right so uh, let's take a look here yeah not too not nothing yet um bad rng so we may have to even uh, elect to utilize the elite four here but we'll keep this going uh no phantom mix yet um and it is sometimes just the luck of the trade i find sometimes too when you guys start uh pulling these orbs if you're not getting much maybe take a break for a day and it usually helps to kind of reset that rng factor right uh just because it is uh sometimes just random luck Six air. So yeah, still no Phantom X. Wow, yeah, not the best luck today at all. So let's keep going. Uh, 105. So I might even have to actually switch over to Leaf Force and see how our luck is, but um, nothing as of yet, which is surprising because usually I have at least a couple. Oh, as you can see, with all these duplicates coming into play here, uh, it is adding um, to our mixture here of the Elite Four. So uh, all these duplicates do add up. So keep that in mind, you guys. Always try to keep in mind that budget as well, right? End of the day, um, with so many characters coming into the game, uh, we do need to be cautious and you know prepared. So nothing there actually, um, nothing officially yet. So you know, it makes me kind of cautious here because. Uh, sometimes it could be effective, it could be not, but you know what, maybe we can uh, chance ourselves here with an Elite Four and see if we can get lucky. A hello there, so there we go. Let's do one more, um, just for good measure. And then otherwise, I uh, might have to pause and do it another video, but yeah, no luck today, you guys. So it could just be the fact that the update hasn't been effective, and I'm okay with that just because I do have quite a bit of Red Star Orbs, but might have to revisit that overall. A good way to also check, you guys, before you even start is um, you see all this effective change being in here, but as well, making sure, maybe taking a look at your alliance and seeing what they have. Um, sometimes your alliance members can be pulling a lucky six or seven, and then that tells you they're also in effect. But I have a hunch maybe that it's not effective yet, even though we see the change here. But I'll try again later um, just to showcase. But, you know, it doesn't stop us from going ahead and finishing the video here, which is reviewing Phantom X's kit here overall. Um, you know, taking a look at his T4 recommendations. Dual shot is his basic attack. He's gonna be attacking the primary target for 30% piercing, and he actually does repeat this attack. Um, when he's forced to attack an ally, this character actually deals less damage to X-Men characters. So good to know if he ever does get that chance to actually be turned against us. Leveling this ability up, the damage does increase overall to the primary and secondary targets. And as well, you can see here, um, the attack does actually repeat two times. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend the T4 here just because level six gives you good value already, as well as having that defense down up to a maximum of five times. So that's really good to see there. And I see my Alliance members are trying to pull him right now. So, um, so far I haven't seen anything yet. So keep that in mind, you guys. Uh, EVA assist is a special attack. So he's gonna be gaining taunt as well as attacking the primary target for uh, said percent of damage. And as well, if the primary target actually has taunt, he's gonna be attacking the enemy with the highest damage instead. So really targeting them. 
as you can see at leveling this ability up he's actually going to also apply offense down um, he's going to be able to provide uh, defense up for himself and as well as the unlimited x-men allies so it's nice even though it is defensive bit abilities that it's able to buff up his team offense down actually lasts for two turns as well as the defense up when you bring it up to level uh, six and the t4 actually gives him the taunt for two turns so with him being a formidable uh, character and tanking damage um this could be useful in terms of just mitigating the damage from away from his uh the team right especially with him having that sustain and the tanking and the the, the buffs coming up stylish shooter is his ultimate ability and as you can see uh he's gonna be applying the primary target damage for piercing and bonus attacking uh in crucible which is what this team is gonna be meant for right he's gonna have additional bonus attacks for a percentage of piercing and as well gaining additional damage per positive effect so the more positive buffs they have the more damage you'll they'll actually take so uh leveling his ability up deflex actually gonna get cleared up in crucible he's gonna get an additional attack as well um so that's really gonna be the notable feature for phantom x um as you can see another additional attack here and the t4 is a once again another bonus additional so it seems like this is really gonna be um his repertoire in terms of stacking damage overall the additional attack so this is one i would actually recommend t4 in because it seems like this is gonna be doing the bulk of the damage for him and having those additional damage that actually ignores the armor uh, and as well as having that piercing damage is gonna be absolutely crucial especially if you have a good rest star on him and then last but not least, two guns, three brains is his passive here. As you can see, uh, gaining spawn, um, excuse me, uh, on spawn gaining the evasion, as well as having the 10,000 percentage resistance against bleed. Loving this ability up, you can see here, each of his turns is actually going to be healing himself. Um, defense up and offense up is actually going to be applying to all unlimited X-Men whenever there's a death. And as well, being able to call additional attacks. Um, there's also going to be a dodge chance increase uh, per unlimited X-Men ally. So you really want as many of those uh, fellow team members on his team. As well as providing armor to his uh, fellow respective team members. And then lastly, with his T4 on spawn, the evasion is actually going to be applying to all members, not just himself. And while he has defense up, he's going to gain a 100% chance of counterattack. So um, keep that in mind, he's just going to be retaliating whenever any of the whenever he has that defense up uh, uh, available for himself. So um, this one, you know, I, I love the fact that it actually has the evasion that applies to unlimited X-Men. That doesn't apply specifically in Crucible. It can be all game modes, right? So for that reason, um, the passives are usually the ones I would recommend in T4ing. So definitely his ultimate and his passive. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys have a good rest star orb opening, hopefully better than mine, just because it doesn't seem like it's effective for me yet, but could just be uh, some nasty RNG. So thank you as always, you guys. Do appreciate you checking my videos as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one.